Significant help will soon be on the way to cities and counties across West Virginia that were hard hit financially by the COVID-19 crisis. And some people thought Governor Jim Justice was too slow in handing out the money, but the governor says it's important to get it right. 13 News Chief Political Reporter Mark Curtis has more. Uh, you know, some... Where's the money? That's what cities, counties, and Democrats in the state legislature have been asking Governor Justice. Weeks ago, the federal government sent $1.25 billion to West Virginia to help offset the costs of the crisis, especially for communities which spent thousands on protective gear and testing. But that money remains in a state bank account. The governor said he wanted an accurate accounting instead of just writing out blank checks, and now he has it. The application for the cities and counties is, you know, to apply for CARES Act monies is for all practical purposes done. Meanwhile, even though the state has processed more than 162,000 unemployment claims, the governor and head of Workforce West Virginia acknowledged that some people are still not getting their money. I understand completely that if you're waiting for your benefits, that doesn't mean much to you. Continue to press workforce. We're going to work hard as we can. If there's significant issues on your claim, be sure you let us know. And everyone is advised to stay cautious as thousands of tourists are likely to come into the state as it reopens faster than surrounding states and for the long Memorial Day weekend. So as all of us wear masks as we go out or face covers, we not only protect ourselves, but we protect each other. Special attention continues to be focused on minority group members who have twice the infection rate as the rest of the population. By noontime Friday, over 600 minority group members had been tested at sites in Jefferson, Berkeley, Raleigh, and Mercer counties. Those minority testing sites will continue throughout the day on Saturday. In Charleston, I'm Mark Curtis, 13 News, working for you. Also at today's briefing, the governor noted the sudden death yesterday of Air National Guard Lieutenant Colonel Chris Nasser. The National Guard has responded to multiple needs in West Virginia due to the COVID-19 outbreak.